Hello everyone, once again we are learning how to assemble our own climate clock and in this model number 6 we are going to discuss about the power supply. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for continuous updates. Another very important component because we need power supply for supplying power to two components, one is to LED and other is for controller. You know both requires power that's why the power supply that we are going to use in our climate clock assembly is 5 volt 20 ampere power supply. By the way so power supply is required for LED as well as for controller and typically the rating of power supply is given in terms of two parameters. One is the DC output voltage that it will provide and the current that it can provide. This power supply we are going to use is 5 volt 20 ampere. So it should be able to provide 5 volt of power output and 20 amperes of the current. That's a requirement why we have chosen 20 ampere particularly because there are in the market there are many kinds of power supplies which may give you 5 ampere, 10 ampere, 20 ampere. Why 20 ampere? Because remember we are going to use 3 LED P10, 3 and each of that requires about 20 watt of power or about 4 amperes of current. So 3 means 12 watt of power, 3 means uh, 12 ampere of current and our controller is also going to take about half ampere of current. So just to be on the safer side, the power supply that we have chosen for this particular assembly is 5 volt 20 ampere power supply. Remember this is what we need to take. Well in the market there are many types of power supplies available. Market is flooded with all kind of DC power supply. In design it is very simple. One side there has to be AC input of 230 volt or in that range and there has to be DC output of 5 volt and 20 ampere. So there can be two types of power supply. You might be receiving one of them in your kit. We say model 1 and model 2. Both are okay. Both are going to do the same job of powering our LED as well as the controller. Well, let's take one type of power supply. By the way, these power supplies that we have chosen are quite uh, kind of stable, robust, well designed with the kind of ventilation etc. This is one type of power supply where you see there is a AC input 230 volt and this is you will find the rating on the power supply with the line and neutral. So line and neutral, line is red color wire you have to connect, neutral is black color wire and in some rare case there may be ground requirement but for such a small application we don't need ground. So there will be two wires only at the AC side. At the DC side you will see V minus and V plus. So positive terminal and the negative terminal. Positive terminal red wire will be connected to positive terminal and the black wire will be connected to the negative terminal. So normally there are two positive and two negative because you need to supply power to both the uh, controller as well as LED. So this is how the configuration of this uh, kind of power supply, the input side and output side. There is a, another version of power supply you might receive that has all the terminals at one side only, little more compact than the other side but as I said they are going to do exactly the same functions. You don't worry about whichever power supply comes to you. And here again there is a AC side so there is a line in neutral which will be marked on the uh, the power supply and the DC side there are positive and negative. In this case there is only one set of terminal for positive and negative DC side. So all the connectors uh, from the controller and also from the LED display will come to this point only. So I think these are the two power supplies that I was talking to you. Very simple. The model one is uh, this. You see there is a line in neutral here at this side and on the other side you see the plus and minus terminal. As I said this is little bigger and other kind of power supply that you see here again both of them has quite space for ventilation and uh, here is the four terminals that I was talking about. All of them are at the same time and this is little compact. You see line and neutral here and positive and negative here. So this is the two types of power supply and in the market there are many other types of power supply available. What we need is you have to ensure that it will provide 5 volt and 20 ampere. Alright, I think it is very clear and when we start our hands on training it will become even more clear. It is very very simple actually to use these power supplies. That is it in this video. In the next video we are going to look at the component which are the cables that is used to connect the controller 
we are going to push the data through and the power cables and the AC supply cables. So in the next module number 7, we are going to look at all the cables and after that, we look at cabinet and then we are ready to install actually and make our own climate clock. So thank you very much for this and stay tuned and see you in the next module. Thank you so much.